Merry Christmas Veggie Fam slash Happy Holidays. Today is Christmas Eve's Eve. So if you're watching this on the day that I posted it, then you're watching it the same day I made it. So I actually, I have another video planned for this week. That being said, I am actually making or prepping smoothies, um, some breakfast smoothies, uh, like frozen prep breakfast smoothies. So I wanted to make a video on it because I was kind of like, you know what? This would be something cool to make a video for and also, you know, get a little chit chat going. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've never done this breakfast smoothie prep situation. Whenever we would want smoothies, we would just, um, just make it, you know, outright at the moment. That being said, um, it was part of the meal plan, so I decided to add it in there. Also, another thing that I wasn't thinking about is the fact that I was prepping these for my husband and I and his smoothies are usually like double the size of mine because I'm not the biggest fan of smoothies so whenever I do drink smoothies it's like a smaller portion um, I've actually like basically the amount that I will drink is enough to fill a Snapple bottle I know that sounds super specific but the reason why I say that is because I actually have a Snapple bottle that I reuse um, for my smoothies so and my husband I actually do like a whole mason jar um yeah or like half of a large a very large mason jar or something you know give or take some some nonsense like that so if you want to watch me try <laughs> to do some uh smoothie meal prep smoothie breakfast prep um i'm sure it'll work out because i'm literally gonna do it exactly how i would if i were doing um making the smoothies so um in the freezer i actually bought sorry sorry there's nail polish in my refrigerator don't look don't look so um i have like all the frozen stuff obviously i have i apparently have a frozen blue moon too we had company over last night um a small group we had uh five people five people yeah five four four people over last night um which is just our neighbors that we hang around with like every single day pretty much we see every day um so I have some frozen mango chunks and um, some whole frozen strawberries, but I have three packs of each. And the way I like my smoothies, I like my smoothies. My favorite smoothie is a mango orange spinach smoothie. And sometimes I'll add some pineapple. I didn't find any fresh pineapple. Weird, South Florida, right? But I don't know, maybe, I don't know the whole season situation um, for pineapples, but um, yeah, so I bought a canned pineapple. I may or may not add some of that into my smoothie. Um, but, uh, yeah, so far. Oh, and Chris, my husband, he likes the strawberry banana smoothies. What's your favorite smoothie? Because I would love some ideas on some smoothies. I feel like I'm always, like, stuck on the same smoothie because, um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, so let's do this. Let's make some smoothies. You guys ready? You guys ready? Would you like a smoothie? Oh, and I and uh another thing that you guys should know if you buy like berries um and fruits and stuff for your smoothies and you typically buy them uh fresh. Oh, oh, and I also bought some frozen spinach also for um our smoothies because it's more affordable and they're frozen anyways, right? So so everything basically here is more affordable than if I were to have bought it um, fresh. So that's why we went the frozen route this time. Also because um, I sometimes say, oh, I'm gonna you know, cut them up and prep them and freeze them. Um, and I never do. And I end up wasting a lot of fruits because I don't use them and they go bad because we're more of veggie people here especially me and I who are the ones who really like snack on you know the healthy stuff um we prefer to snack on like um little tomatoes oof tomatoes I love these guys here so we prefer to snack on like little these little um cherry tomatoes these are little organic biologic <laughs> I'm guessing that's the brand. I don't know. We got these from BJ's, which we just got a membership from. 
Oh, speaking of which, we just got a membership from BJ's and bought a four pack of Beyond Burgers for uh, $14.99, which is kind of nuts because it's basically like getting like a whole one and a half ish free um, with the deal. So, um, yeah. Oh, mm. these little tomatoes. I wish I could give you one of these. They're so good. Um, if you guys would like to see a grocery plan, how I budget and plan my grocery and my grocery list, I've done, I think like two of these in the past, but I feel like I'm constantly like switching it up to make it more, um, like functional. And, and this time around, I really feel like, I always feel like I have it. Um, I do have it down pat, but I feel like it's the most functional that it's been in a really long time. Actually, I'll show you. No, no, no. I'll save that if you guys want to watch it because this is going to take forever. So let's move on, shall we? All right, I'm moving you guys again. All right, so can you see me? Good stuff. So. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know what I'm doing exactly because this is the first time, like I said, that I prep. I think this is my first time prepping um, uh, smoothies. Ooh, I just, I really like these little tomatoes. Um, what's your favorite vegetable or snack? Vegetable, what? What is your favorite vegetable or fruit to snack on? Oh, you know what other thing is delicious? Frozen mango chunks. This is some good stuff. So, if you eat it just like that, it's like having a little ice cream. Okay. So, we got some of the, oh, I actually have a, a thawed one out. But I actually have a, one of these spinach thingamabobbers, frozen spinach um, thawed uh, from the smoothies that I was doing. The reason why I got the spinach that's already like frozen is one to save up space in my fridge because I didn't want like a ginormous uh, bag of spinach. Um, it's harder to freeze because I just I don't want to freeze the whole bag, chopping it up, kind of like you know just I just felt like the frozen spinach works out best whenever I make smoothies, and I'll just buy them like this and then I'll thaw it out like as I go. And yeah, it works out. I need a spoon. Indy, what are you doing? All right. So, let's see. So how about 2020, guys, huh? I know 2020 has been so difficult for everyone, and I feel like for me, I finally have been getting back into the groove of things and kind of like planning everything out. I've always been a very big like planner because if I don't plan things, I am extremely um, unorganized. Like I just can't get my thoughts together and everything is kind of just like all over the place. So I try to pretty much write out and plan as much as I can because another thing is I'm pretty forgetful also. So um, I'll be like, oh yeah, I have to go do this or buy this or you know, I have this appointment or whatever. And I know there's people who can perfectly fine, be perfectly fine with just saying, you know, a little mental note, but I just can't seem to work that way. So are you a planner or are you more of a, you know, think of stuff up from the top of your head? Also another thing, is that I um I tried in the beginning of the year so I'm chopping up my bananas so that it's just easier for my uh, blender to blend up uh, and for Chris for his smoothies like if, if you like the bigger smoothies and you're doing this uh, and you're prepping it just pretty much do it if you eat drink smoothies already just make you know prep it the way you would each baggie um, you can use reusable bags of course but if you're using um, these uh, 
little Ziplocs, disposable ones, and you put it in the freezer, it's easier to reuse because, you know, it's in the freezer. Um, so if I'm using things, you know, like fruits and veggies, um, I'll reuse the bag a couple times just because it's fruits and veggies and it's been in the freezer. So, you know, it's not like going bad in there or anything like that. Nothing is going bad in there. So, yeah, so pretty much do this frozen prep situation, kind of like her individual smoothie. So, uh, however it is that you like to have your smoothies, just prep a smoothie and put it into your uh, bag. And then write the little name on it. I just, I'm gonna use some Sharpie because I use Sharpie for everything that I, um, <laughs> that I label. I don't have a label maker, I just use, um, I just use uh, Sharpie and scotch tape for everything. Um, and these are just like whole strawberries. Maybe I should count them. I usually don't, but count them to get them all kind of uniform. Um, oh yeah, so are you guys uh, like digital planners, more digital planners, like phone reminders and things like that? Or are you more of a pen and paper type of person? I've always been a pen and paper type of person and this year with my hand and my arm um, being out of commission for like the whole first half of the year um, and then some, I wasn't writing like with pen and paper so I was actually using my iPad to do a lot of planning. But it just, it just wasn't the same, it just didn't work out as good and I just didn't like it. Um, so let me see, six. Uh, eight strawberries. Okay, so he doesn't like like anything else in his strawberry. Just strawberries and banana. That's it. So when we do his strawberries, uh, we'll do strawberry, banana, and some almond milk. Um, but yeah. So I tried doing that with my uh, iPad, and just for some reason, I mean it. Theoretically, it should have worked because I was doing it exactly the way I would do it with paper. But it's just not the same, you know? It's just not the same. I don't know. Maybe I'm just old-fashioned. I don't know. But another thing is, when I read, and I, I love to read, I just haven't found like too much time to do so recently, um, I prefer to read like just actual books as well, rather than um, rather than like, having ebooks kind of thing. So, so do you rather have ebooks or do you rather have uh, paper books. I know it's gonna sound really weird and maybe it'll even a little creepy, but I, I love the smell of books. I like the smell of books you're reading, you turn the page and it smells like a book. I don't know how to explain it, but if you're a reader and you read books, um, actual paperback books and you know hardcover books, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, or maybe you are a audiobook listener, which I do also because you know sometimes you just don't have the time to sit down and read a book so you might be doing something cooking cleaning you know running some errands in the car and you'll listen to an audiobook and that works perfectly good depending on what kind of books you're into i mean my what is if you guys read what is your preferred genre of books um mine's is uh uh what do you call it i always get these two mixed together uh I like to read fiction. I love fiction. I always get fiction and nonfiction mixed up in my head. So yeah, I like to read nonfiction. I'm sorry, fiction. And um, I love like creepy stories and scary stories and kind of like supernatural stuff. Um, all that kind of thing. The same kind of stuff that I like to watch. Like I love watching all that kind of stuff, um, American Horror Story, you know, you name it, that kind of deal. That's that's what I like to read, that's what I like to watch, that's just my kind of um, genre in general. So what do you guys like to watch or read or, you know, um, even though lately, seven, eight, um, there's a little tiny one in there so we're gonna throw an extra one for good measure. Lately, I have been, um, watching binge watching bob's burgers yeah that so it's like it's a cartoon um i guess like a, a more like a grown-up cartoon it's not necessarily like inappropriate i wouldn't 
necessarily put it in like the Family Guy category. It's more like, even though I like Family Guy too, and South Park, I watch South Park sometimes too. <laughs> They're insane. Um, I don't watch it as much anymore, but um, what is it? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I totally lost my chain of thought. So, I think the reason why I love to watch Bob Burgers, Bob Burgers, is because, um, is because it reminds me of a 90s cartoon, and I'm gonna age myself, show my age right now. Um, it reminds me of Hey Arnold from Nickelodeon. So, if you know what I'm talking about, Hey Arnold, then that's what it reminds me of. And I just love, <laughs> I just love watching it. And I just think it's hilarious. You guys definitely have to check it out. I, my husband just can't get into it. He likes to watch Family Guy. Um, he just can't get into Bob's Burgers. Um, but I love to watch it. I think it's hilarious that, like, most of the characters in the show are played by male voices like even the women there's one like female voices a few a, a few female voices but as far as main character goes i guess like that's not very diverse but it's just so funny because like they clearly sound like it's not like the mom sounds like a guy it's like the funniest thing ever um but um so yeah, that definitely adds to the comedic aspect of it, and also, so yeah, the, the little girl, um, she is played by a female voice, but everyone else is just like a male voice, which I think is pretty funny. Um, four, five, six, seven, and eight strawberries. Um, I am running out of, no I'm not running out, I have five bananas left. And Chris has three smoothies. We're gonna do, so we're gonna do four and four. All right, we'll give him one more, and then one more for me. So, well, I have, because I, oh no, nope. He's gonna have to have like a mixed, um, a mixed one, because um, this was supposed to last us, I calculated this uh, to last us two weeks um, for, 14 smoothies um 14 smoothies no oh goodness that i did that wrong no one week 14 smoothies for the both of us clearly that's not working out because i didn't calculate that chris would need two bananas per um smoothie but whatever and i only do one smoothie per my per banana for mine per, per banana <laughs> one banana per smoothie for mine because i um i'm not a fan of bananas but I'm fed tomatoes. Okay, so anyways. So yeah, that's a show that we've been or I've been enjoying. Um, another thing, what did so what have you guys been up to during the holidays and you know, have you guys um what do you call it? Have you guys finished your holiday shopping? I know we're like 95% done, I would say. Which is not not too bad. Um, because I feel like we're, we're very, very much procrastinators. Procrastinators. Like I said, I wait till the last minute if I don't write things down. And as far as like Christmas shopping, I didn't really write anything down. I did have like some plans on buying certain things like on Amazon and stuff but I totally waited to the last minute so that didn't work out <laughs> um oh let me get my oranges be right back I had to get oranges and uh this is a horrible knife to cut oranges with so um what what in the world what was I saying oh yeah so um I didn't um, plan out like Christmas shopping all that well <laughs> as much as I should have but that's okay because things uh, still got done and are almost done and all that good stuff so also for the holidays we've been 
I mean, we're fairly new out here in South Florida in the Miami area, and um, we didn't really get to know that many people. Um, we started uh, meeting people because of the pandemic, because you know YouTube doesn't want you to say uh, the other word that starts with the C and ends with uh, 19. Um, so. Yeah, so because of the pandemic, we actually met a few people. We actually got pretty close with our neighbors. So our neighbors are like our best friends out here now, <laughs> you know. Um, so so we spent Thanksgiving um, with our neighbors, and um, and it's 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 like five about five people. So you know we we keep it we still keep it you know small, and um, and we also spent. Um, we did like a little a holiday get together party, not necessarily, but um, yeah, it was just just us, and we just like did like a little potluck. Everyone bring like a little dish and whatever. Um, trying to you know trying to get it wasn't like my typical holiday um, Christmas party, which actually didn't get done last year because we didn't know anyone. Okay, so I'm actually adding no, I'm actually adding. Um, I put some a whole orange I did one banana and about a cup of frozen mango chunks and some spinach spinach I'm gonna do a little bit more of the spinach <laughs> um, for my smoothie so actually I'm gonna do even a little more than that so I'm gonna do like two and a half good scoops of spinach I like my my smoothies green like really nice and green um so yeah that's mine and then um so yeah uh what was i saying we did that kind of like little holiday party type deal i mean you could barely call it a holiday party um but yeah so back home we used to do like a huge holiday party where we would invite everyone like our whole family all of our friends all the kids and we had a two-story house so we used to have like everyone just running around and having fun. Well, the kids would be running around having fun, um, while the kids would, well, the grown-ups would be playing games. Speaking of games, last night uh, uh, we had our neighbors over, and um, we played, um, we played like some sort of dice game, CeeLo, which I totally forgot what it was called. We used to play in high school all the time and in college, and. Uh, we, we bet some quarters <laughs> and um what else oh and we were gonna play dominoes but we had more than four people we had uh six with including chris and i because uh, we had four people over so yeah we had um we had too many for dominoes which we really enjoy playing but we couldn't do that so um we played uh, uno we played uno and that was ah hello I lost an orange so we ended up playing uno which was so much fun um, and uh, yeah we've just been playing a lot of games and whatnot um, during our little Christmas get-together we played um, we did like this little skip game that our friend came up with and or he I think he saw it on, online somewhere on the intro webs and we played that game and it was so much fun and it was like a impro improvised like um little improv type of stand-up comedy type of thing you have to make other people laugh it was so funny um and then we also at the end of the night um we ended up playing um uh pictionary on on the holiday party uh so whenever we host uh we end up hosting to like really late um, so we were up yesterday, uh, we had people over to 3 a.m. Uh, so yeah, I just, my camera ran out of uh, space, so I had to make a little space real quick. So yeah, um, we don't like, we don't have like a cutoff time, we don't kick anyone out. <laughs> um, and usually when we do these um sort of little nights little get together nights um we do this whenever um you know we're not working like really early or at least my husband isn't um working early or anything like that so 
yeah, we just play until, until you know, uh, people decide to call it a night, and and that's just how it is. So, um, and the day of the Christmas party, or I keep saying Christmas party, but it was more like just a little gathering. Um, we also finished at around three, three something. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's 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 a good old time. It's really nice, fun stuff, and. Uh, another smoothie down so let me see orange mango banana oh oh guys guys why didn't you tell me that i forgot the spinach so yeah what have you guys been up to i'm i'm genuinely curious to know what everybody's kind of been like up to during this whole time and again like the reason why we gather around with our neighbors is because this is it almost feels like like this is our you know how they say hang around with the people who are in your home? Well, it's, it feels almost like we are all the people we're included in that home thing because we see each other every single day, every single day. Like we live in an apartment complex and we're like pretty much next door neighbors to everyone. And we'll kind of like chit chat in the parking lot and um, you know, we'll borrow things from each other. Hey, do you have some sugar? Can I borrow some of this or that? And we see each other often. Um, sometimes we'll have coffee with our other neighbor, um, which is part of our little like group that we hang out with as well. So, you know, it's almost like we all live <laughs> together anyways, which is why we hang out with the group like we do. Um, yeah, so yeah, let me just finish up these smoothies and show you what I got. Here we have our eight smoothies, well under ten dollars. Uh, because, like I said, like I said, I used the frozen stuff instead of the fresh stuff, and even the spinach um, was frozen. And um, I was gonna label it, but I decided not to label it because. Um, only Chris has the strawberry banana smoothies. I'm not a big fan of just strawberry banana. I prefer a green smoothie with pineapple and orange and kind of more bright flavors. Um, and then we have this rando, random um, uh, mix here with some mango with, for Chris's um, or mine, whoever decides to have it because it does have mango in it, so I will have it if I, if I want. Um, I just, we ran out of... Uh, What did we run out of? Oh, ran out of bananas. So I added, instead of two bananas like I would normally do for Christmas smoothies, I did one banana and just some extra um, mango. So yeah, he likes a lot of banana in his, and that's another reason why I typically wouldn't reach for these because I don't like a lot of bananas in my smoothies because I'm not a fan of bananas. So yes, if you guys are thinking about prepping uh, or meal prepping slash freezing your smoothies the most affordable and easiest way to go is getting them already frozen because uh, a few reasons they're more affordable they're already frozen and they're very fresh you don't run I guess as much of a risk as you would when you buy the fresh stuff that some of them may be bad or they'll go bad faster am i is it dark in here all of a sudden yeah i think it just got dark in here oh yeah it's getting brighter back there so it's getting darker in here um yeah this is christmas eve's eve our windows open sun is coming in it's nice and warm out south florida for you but i do really miss um, the feel of Christmas up north because there really isn't any Christmas feels out here we just have to decorate a bunch and make it feel that way um, check out my shirt um, another friend of mine got this for me the wild cow he got this from when he went to this little on a little road trip um, it's actually it's supposed to be a vegan restaurant if I'm not mistaken or a vegan bar or something like that and in the back it says hail Satan, get it? Satan, like by the week, gluten, Satan. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat. There will be another video later on this week, uh, Thursday or Friday, depending on how crazy all this holiday situation gets. Um, I do have it planned out, but I still have to shoot it and edit it. 
Um, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys soon. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Love you.